This video is going to be about how to ride your electric bike safely with tips that I've learned from over 500 miles of riding my electric bike. First off, this is a great way to have both fun and exercise at the same time. Now I'm going to start off by briefly telling you about my electric bike. I bought the electric bike company Model S. I bought the step through because I have a bad hip and this is less painful. I have a beach cruiser with a bar that goes across and it's extremely painful for me to get on and off it. This bike is both pedal assist and a thumb throttle which I preferred over the twist handle throttle. This bike can go up to 28 miles an hour. Every state has different laws regarding pedal assist and throttle and the maximum speed, so you need to know your state laws. This isn't a review of my bike or the state laws, so I'm going to move on. My first safety recommendation is always to wear a helmet. If you rode a bike without a helmet before, now's the time to get one. I used to just wear a hat when I rode my regular bike, but now I got this helmet by a by a company called Thousand. It's a comfortable helmet and it's airy and really safe. E-bikes accelerate faster, have more power, more speed, and more weight than a regular bike. So you need to protect your head in case of a fall or accident. Electric bikes have stronger brakes. Most have hydraulic brakes. You'll need to get used to braking with your e-bike and should brake by using both the front and rear brakes at the same time. You should practice both starting, accelerating and braking when you first get the bike. You should do this before taking a long trip and before biking into crowds where you're going to have to make quick short stops and remember you're going at a faster speed than you would have normally have gone. Everything happens faster with an e-bike so get used to it. Sometimes I use the throttle to start while the pedal assist kicks in. Just be aware the e-bike accelerates quickly with the throttle. And it takes one revolution before the pedal assist kicks in, so it's a little slower getting going. For this reason, I always keep it in a level of two or three when I start out and then adjust down or up as needed. It helps with the first acceleration. It's important to keep the front wheel straight when starting off also. If the wheels are turned, the bike may torque and the weight may cause it to push in you and you may fall. And really, I'm talking from experience here. This happened to me at a stoplight and I wasn't paying attention. I had the wheel turned, I hit the throttle, torqued the bike and it knocked me down. When you stop your bike for any reason at all, be aware where your hands are. You don't want your hand to accidentally hit the throttle and jerk the bike when you're not ready. I always keep the brakes on, which disengages all the electronics, so the bike won't do that. I also make sure I keep my fingers away from the throttle. I have a thumb throttle on my bike. If I'm going to be at a position for a long time, if I stop to talk to somebody, I'll shut off all the electronics. You don't want to accidentally hit the throttle or someone else to accidentally hit the throttle when you don't expect it. That bike will jerk forward, you'll panic and probably bef fall before you can grab the brakes. That's why I always have my hands on the brakes when I'm stopped, which like I said disengages all the electronics. Oh no, I love my electric bike. I've already rode it for over 50 plus hours. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my page. And stay tuned for my next video on the top 10 hazards of riding on the beach path or any trail for that matter.